Hey everyone, Nathan here. Today we're gonna to have a look at the top four ways you can add a PowerPoint to your OneNote page. All right, so let's have a look at this one. We are going through kind of the top four. These are in no particular order as to what I think is best or worst, but also don't forget if you like what Andy and myself are doing, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we will keep on releasing content for you. So let's kick off with inserting a file first. So what I'm gonna have to do is click on the page wherever I want the file to appear. If you don't get that right, that's okay. You can pick it up and move it. But from here, we're gonna go to insert, and then we're going to click on file. It's just gonna open up your, um, your finder. Let's click here on the PowerPoint that I want. And then it's gonna give you a couple of options. Now, the one we're looking for here is right in the middle, the insert as an attachment. So let's click on that. And nice and simple. The document is now there sitting on the page ready to go. Essentially, the person who comes to look at this will double click on this. It will then download a copy and it will put it onto their device. Any changes they make to it won't be replicated here back into this same document. It's just a standard or standalone or a point in time document for them to work on. If however, it was something that was a bit collaborative and I wanted them to work on, we might look at this idea of linking instead. And linking requires you to look more at your OneDrive. So if I just quickly bring over here my OneDrive, I've got the same PowerPoint sitting in here, ready to go. So in this case, I wanna make sure of a couple of things. I want to hover over and look for the share icon, or I can press on the three dot menu and also click on share. From here, Depending on how your organization is set up, I can choose a various range of sharing permissions if I keep it nice and simple and I wanna change it so that people can edit it, apply. You can set this up however you like. I'm then gonna click on copy and then it's gonna give me this link. Let's copy that link and go back to our OneNote. And then all I'm gonna do is, first and foremost, is just paste that down. Now we don't get this really long um, URL, it kind of condenses it down and puts it into the name of the document. You can also kind of embed that in if I wanted to as well. So I could write something like, you know, the shorthand, which is normally like PP, PPT, <laughs> um, or if you're doing something like click here, something like that, totally up to you. And then I can click over this here. In this version here, I can click the link option, and then I can take that same link, paste it in, and click OK. Essentially, these just become clickable links. They'll take me out of OneNote and over to the PowerPoint. So it takes me from one software to another, but in this case, because I set it up to edit, we can kind of collaborate and work on it together at the same time. So let's have a look at the next one, which is embedding a PowerPoint onto a OneNote page. Now this one's pretty cool, but it's got a few steps and you can kind of get a little bit caught out around permissions. So what we need to do is you do have to kind of work from an organization um, OneDrive. Doesn't seem to work from personal OneDrives. But here it is here in my PowerPoint, sitting in my OneDrive, ready to go. First things first is we need to change those sharing permissions. So if I click on private, it's gonna give me those options again to basically give share permissions out. So I might look at giving access or granting access to someone directly if I wanted to, if I was just sharing this page individually, or I can kind of have those broader community um, permissions based on what I want. In this case, let's leave this one so that people can't edit it. Clicking copy will just kind of initiate that new link, but in this case, we don't want that copy link, so we're gonna cancel out of it. What we actually wanna do is we wanna click on the PowerPoint itself and open it up. And then we're looking for the URLs, the web address along the top. This one here is important. So I'm going to copy that and then we're gonna bring it over and insert it onto our OneNote page. So let's paste that in. 
and here it comes. So in this case, it's a little bit different. It's a bit more like a document viewer. You kind of lose and retain some of the one, um, the, sorry, the functionalities in PowerPoint. So I can click through here. If some things are kind of clickable or video links, sometimes they work, sometimes they won't. But I find animations in that don't seem to work inside this space. Now, as I said, the permission behind this can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to permission it to the specific people that you want to see it. Um, it just all depends on how kind of firewalls and security settings are set up. It's a cool one, but it can be a little bit tricky to get those permissions correct. The last one we're gonna have a look at is just adding this in as a printout, which is specifically good for people who um, are using things like a stylus or they're drawing with their pen because they can go over the top of the document. So if I click here in this option, we're going to choose in from inserts, we're gonna choose the printout option. And so from printout, I'm gonna grab my PowerPoint again, just like we did when we were inserting it as a file. It can take a little bit of time depending on how big your PowerPoint is to convert it. And sometimes it's really useful if you do just wanna kind of put your PowerPoint images in, all your slides in as images. And then what we can do is we can go through and get rid of the ones that we do and we don't want. So here it comes through now. So here are my slides. It's got nine slides in it. So each slide is represented on the page. Just as a kind of a tip or a trick, if you do intend for your students to, to write over these, is that you might want to click on the document, right click and set as a background. It's just gonna stop it from moving around, which it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Two things to be wary of though, is that it also places it in as files. So if you're very conscious about keeping your OneNotes quite small file size, because they can blow up really quickly, don't forget to just kind of click delete on your keyboard to get rid of that. And also as well with the PDF, you don't need that as well. You can just click and remove that and then I've got all my PowerPoint slides sitting on my OneNote page. So they are my top four ways as to how to embed PowerPoints onto OneNote pages. I hope that you find one of them useful and you enjoy using it in your classroom. We'll see you again soon, ciao.